Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to track and blur people's faces in DaVinci or Soul 15. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is the clip that we're going to be using in today's video. This is just a boring clip that I filmed like earlier today. It's just me in my room and I'm just moving around um, in front of my camera pretty much. Yep, it's just a boring clip. But let's show you how to track and blur my face on this. So, the tab that we use uh, to track and blur people's faces on DaVinci Resolve 15 is the color tab. So go over to here and make sure that you're on this, you have selected your clip and then you go onto the power window. So because I'm going to be tracking a face in this video and faces are circular, I'm going to be using the circular power window. But if you're tracking in a, if you're tracking a square, so maybe you have like a postcode that you don't want to show or something, you can use a square to do this. But because I'm doing a face, I'm going to use a circle. So just click that and then you have this that come up on your screen. So you just mold this onto your face and shape it to the size of your face. So like that. And there we have it. Now if you go onto the um, open effects library, we have all the effects that you can use here. Now there are loads of different types of blurs that you can use, but for today's video we're going to be going for a kind of pixelated effect on your face, so your face looks all pixelated. And that the way you do that is by using the mosaic blur. So just drag this and put it onto your clip. And then up here it opens up settings and you can just change things with it. So here, here we have the pixel frequency to show how pixelated it is. So if we put this up here, it's more pixelated, and if we put it down there, it's like not pixelated at all. So if we put it like that, that's a nice amount of pixels on there. And also, we have the smooth strength. It allows you to kind of make the pixelated kind of fade into the normal shot. So if we have it, uh, if we put this up here, as you can see, it's kind of, it fades much better. And as you can see here, like the squares, there's the squares are less defined on the side here. So now we have the pixelated effect and the blurred face effect. But now, so let's just watch through this clip here. And as you can see, it's not tracked to my face. It's only just this little bit that's blurred. So let's now track this to my face. So if you go onto the tracker over here, make sure that you're on the window and then you're also on the clip. Now, if you um, now if you put the power window at the start of your video, uh, track forward, which is this button here, and if you put it at the end of your video, track in reverse to track backwards. So because it's at the beginning of my clip, I'm going to track forward. Now this is going to get all the data of your shot and like track points of your uh, face on where your power window is, and it's going to get the data of that and put it to the power window. So the power window uses that tracking data to track that object. And here we have the final clip. As you can see, it's tracked my face pretty well, and also it's about nice and pixelated. And even when I like go across quite fast, like over here, um, it's, it tracks my face very well. But what happens if we want to have it so um, maybe only half of the video um, my face is blurred and the other half it's not blurred? So how do you do that? Well, we're going to be using keyframes to do that. So if you go up here and click on frame, now this allows you to just go onto the individual frames and adjust where the um, where the power window is. So if we have it at the start here and we just drag this guy and put it off to the side and then maybe let's go halfway in the video. So for the first half of the video we don't want my face to be blurred and then the second half of the video we want it to be blurred. So and then we just um, put it to the side there to make another power window and then use your arrow keys which are up down side to side um, and just go across to the next frame and then you're able to put the uh, power window onto your face. So if we now watch this clip here, you can see at the start, uh, the power window is off to the side and it's not affecting the clip at all. And then halfway through the video, it goes onto my face. And it tracks my face perfectly fine. So that's it for today's video. If you now know how to track and blur people's faces in DaVinci Resolve 15, give this video a like and subscribe if you're new here. We're trying to reach 400 subscribers by the end of the year and I really want to reach it. So subscribe if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve 15 tutorials. I try and make them every week. Um, and anyway, yeah, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.